Welcome back, everybody, to the Forza Horizon 3 A through Z series here on Box 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 Gaming. My name is Justin, and today we're going to be using the second and final Acura in the game, at least as of recording this, the Integra Type R. Uh, with the Integra RS X Type S, we turned it into a rally car. It wasn't the best rally car. It wasn't the worst. It, it, it's an all right car. It's an all right rally car. Um, I could have made it more powerful. We ended up supercharging it. Um, and it just wasn't all that great. So with the Integra here, I'm going to go for an all-wheel drive track car. Uh, and, and again, I'm going to try and keep the power kind of down. I'm not just going to go for maximum power here. So let's go ahead and hop in the Integra and see what we could do for this thing. And see if we can make this a fun little all-wheel drive track car. Okay, so for just under 70,000 credits, we're going to turn this into an all-wheel drive 550 horsepower turbocharged Integra Type R. Now, uh, I left the stock engine, but I did throw on a turbocharger. I also upgraded the turbocharger, I believe, once. Uh, again, I, as with previous cars, I could have gotten more power out of this, but not much beyond, not much further into S1 class, not without an engine swap anyway. So uh, I've gone ahead and left it in the at the top of S1 class. That way it can be used for rival mode effectively. So here is the final result. The Integra Type R is completed. I left the stock uh, rims and the stock black paint job, actually. It's also the stock rear wing. I painted the rims gold. I think it looks really nice, actually. I it's got little bits of red here and there on the Acura badge on the little toe thing at the front. Acura badge again on the wheels and also the brake calipers are red as well. The R on the Type R on the back is red. So it's uh, mainly black with some gold and some red accenting and I think it looks really nice. So let's go ahead, let's try this thing out and see how she handles. Okay, so we're gonna get head down towards Surfer's Paradise and we're gonna try a street race. Oh wow, hello. Hello, beautiful. Okay, I've only turned one corner with this car so far, but I already love it. I already love it. We'll see if that assessment proves to be wrong shortly, but uh, I have to say that felt really, really good. And we're going into sixth gear at 180 miles an hour. Uh, let's change the uh, the gearing on this. This is probably like a, a you know 190, 200 mile an hour car. Yeah, we don't need to be going 216 miles an hour. There we go, 200 miles an hour. It probably won't, you know, it'll be just under 200 miles an hour, but at least we'll be making use of all six gears. Yep, hitting 190 very easily though. 195, 196, 97, 98, 99. 200 miles an hour in the Integra, all wheel drive. Feels very stable as well. I'm getting no understeer from this thing at all. All right, here we go. So we've already done this race before, obviously. Uh, let's do Rivals mode, in fact. Since I made this uh, exactly 900 PI, let's go ahead and uh, take it out in Rivals mode and see what we could do. I really like the gold rims on this, actually. I think that came out very, very nice. All right, so here we go for attempt number one. Oh, this is a lap circuit, so uh, I can keep trying, actually. I don't have to restart if I mess up, so that's good. Well, the gearing seems just about right. I am in sixth gear coming into this little braking zone. Oh, get it slowed down, get it slowed down. And I'm already almost catching this ghost, despite the fact that I had a standing start. There we go. Lost some time at the end, I think. Oh. Uh, can I just continue lapping? Let's continue lapping. Ho, 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 ho! Come on. Come on, you're faster, Integra. 
Come on, yeah, you're faster. Oh, you are faster. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Yes. Gonna beat this guy pretty easily. Oh. Yeah, I turned it way too early and tried to carry too much speed through there. That was faster. I think that was faster too, actually, even though it still wasn't perfect. Damn it. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, we got a good final exit, so we'll have a good start to our next lap. No. Bad exit. A little wiggly. A little wobbly. At least we haven't flagged this lap, though. Alright, I need to sacrifice the exit of this corner. This is, this is a fantastic car. I, I absolutely love this car. This is by far the best non-rally car that I've driven in this series so far. I'm still not taking turn one very well, though. I mean, it has great top speed. It has no understeer, really, to speak of. Responds very well to the handbrake. Much better through that last corner. Boot it, boot it, boot it. Is this going to be a new PB? A minute point five. I think that was a new PB. Ah, darn it. Darn it. I was taking that so well. If I hadn't hit that barrier, I think I would have just carried a little too much speed. If I just carried slightly less, it would have been just about perfect. Nope, nope. That's too much speed into there. The lap's already flagged, though. Let's give it one more chance. One more shot here with the Integra. No, that's not how you want to be taking that. Okay, good exit out of the final corner. Here we go. Final lap. It's 
about as good as it's been. I don't think that was my best, but it wasn't far off for turn one, that is. That's a bad exit or a bad entrance. This still might be a PB though. Oh nope. A minute point three was what I got. One minute, yeah, one minute flat point three one seven. So that is going to do it. Yep, yeah, let's finish that. So the Integra. It's, it's pretty freaking fantastic. I mean, this thing is 900 PI, and typically with cars... Wow, that's a lot of credits. 33,000 credits for doing that. Uh, typically, with a 900 PI car, I feel like we start getting into the area where it's too powerful for me to have fun. But with this Integra, I don't find that to be the case at all. In fact, I, I, I'm willing to bet you could put a little bit more power onto this. You could get it into the low S2 class, you know, 920 PI, something like that. And it would still be very drivable. Now that's with all-wheel drive. Um, I don't know how it would how it would fare in its stock front-wheel drive configuration. I don't know how it would do as a real rear-wheel drive car. But I can tell you, as an all-wheel drive track car, the Integra is something special. At least the way that I configured it. Uh, that that was very enjoyable to drive. Let's see if the Integra is going to give me good luck with this wheel spin. Come on, that's ah, all right, 80,000 credits isn't so bad. That's actually gonna put us well over 1.5 million. Uh, do I want, no, 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 I'll, I'll skip out of that, thanks. Um, <laughs> that's right, I said thanks. So yeah, the Integra is pretty fantastic, I have to say, uh, especially when you consider how cheap it is to buy one of these on the auction house. I think I got mine for like $10,000, 20,000 credits, 30,000 credits, something like that. It really was not much money at all. Um, and like I said, it just, it res, you know, it understeers a little and it oversteers a little. But it does both of those things a little. It doesn't oversteer tons. It doesn't understeer tons. It just does both of those things in very manageable amounts. There's a uh, fast travel board here. Oh, <laughs> and then a solid wall. Um, this, this is... Uh, this is up there as one of the best cars that I've done in this series. Now, I realize this is only episode six, so it's not like I've driven a whole bunch of cars, but, um, for instance, compared to the Abarth uh, that we drove, the uh, 500, no, the 695, no, the 695 Paposto was the one that we did as a rally car. The 500 was the one that we did as a track car, and it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Like, see, right there, I just de decided suddenly that I wanted to go to the right there, just downshift, brake, e-brake all at the same time, and, and the car is perfectly happy to oblige with whatever you need it to do. See, enough, once again, oh, if, if that car hadn't been in the... No, I, I did not... No, I did not... Anna, I did not say your name. I did not say your name. See, got some understeer there, but that's because of the gear. I mean, you know, that was, that was all me. That was all me. Completely. So, yeah, this car is fantastic. Let's spin around here, actually. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, yeah, a little wide there. In fact, let's take it. There's a drift zone right here in this area. Let's take it to this drift zone. I'm curious to see. I mean, it's only like two corners, but let's see. Yep. No! Oh, God! They drive on the right! They drive on the right! The headcoming traffic. Oncoming traffic. Oh, my God. I can't even talk. This car has done, done things to me. There's an XP board right here. Turn left. 
Where are you, Mr. XP boy? There you are. I found you. Just a thousand. Ugh, take that. Take that. Turn left. Okay, so two corners. Nope, that's too that's way too fast. That's way too fast. I thought that was a more open corner. I need to be doing that in third gear. Yes, yes. You have oh yeah, that was a big slide. That was a big old slide. Look how easily it turns around too. Yep, yeah, that's too hot. That's too hot into there. We can grab this uh, XP board though. Let's try one more time. It's so happy doing 180s. It's like, hey, Integra, we want to do a 180? It's like, sure! Oh, come on. All right, one more. One more. Get out of my way. Oh, damn it. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I screwed up this drift zone, so... I think I've proven, though, that the uh, Integra is quite the potent drift mobile, as I completely screw up that corner. I downshifted instead of upshifted. Don't think it would have made much difference, though. Difference, though, I just turned in way too early. Uh, so, yeah, it's a fantastic little car. Uh, similar to... Uh, uh, which one? The, the Abarth. Oh, God. I keep, I keep driving into this wall, like, repeatedly. Uh, similar to the uh, Abarth Fiat 131, I would recommend this car. Uh, this is definitely the better of the two Acuras. Now, uh, I don't know. This maybe would be an incredible rally car. Maybe I would like I would like this a lot more than the RSX potentially. But uh, honestly, uh, we may not ever find out because I'm probably just going to leave this thing as a track car forever because it's just absolutely amazing. Let's go off road. Whoa! Whoa! Missing a lot of frames there. Uh oh. Whoa! Holy cow! I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of driving in a straight line. This thing is shockingly good off-road, though, considering this has uh, race suspension, race tires. You know, this thing is not set up to rally whatsoever. And it's perfectly happy. Let's take it on this dirt road over here, actually, before we close out this episode. Gonna jump! Woo -hoo -hoo! It flies well! It flies well! And I see another XP board actually. Uh oh! Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, this is a drift zone. And then there's an XP board inside the drift zone. So let's let's try out this this drift zone. You can always tell when I like a car because the episode ends up being so much longer. Here we go. 
probably fourth gear for this one, second gear for the next one. Whoa! Come on, get back in there. You think third gear for this one? Oh! Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't reach the handbrake. I couldn't reach the handbrake. Yep, that's a fail. That's a fail and a half. Excuse me, I need this XP board. Wee-hoo! Holy cow! Them Duke boys! Okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm getting carried away now. This is turning into a whole thing. Let's just do some donuts here. Look at the Integra go. Look at the Integra go. It's a good looking car too. I've never I've never had anything against how an Integra looks. The only problem I have with an Integra is the fact that it's front wheel drive and this one isn't and it's awesome. So I would encourage anybody and everybody to get one of these and to make it all wheel drive and to put it to the top of S1 class because this is fan freaking fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.